Well, Kim and Ahasheth, it's great to be here. Yes, it's a, a really uh, amazing show tonight, don't you think? Yeah. So I wrote a hockey song. It's actually the, f the first hockey song that I've ever written. And uh, I decided to write it on a guy who's very popular this evening. I think this is the second song in his honor. And uh, he comes from Port Hood, Inverness County, Cape Breton. <laughs> and his name is Al McGinnis. And uh, yes. And to date, he is the only Nova Scotian in the, the Hall of Fame. But I'm sure there's a few more on their way. <laughs> this is called The Ballad of Al McGinnis. He was the lucky seventh born to Annie May and Malik on the 11th of July, 63. His father was a miner, his mother was a teacher in Port Hood, Inverness, by the sea. Where McGinnis is settled on the shores of Cape Breton, Survival was no easy feat. Just fishing and mining and fiddling and fighting and hockey to make life complete. At the rink, like his brothers, his passion it grew. In winter, on the ice with the rest. In summer, drilling pucks and a board against the barn till his hands they be blistered right through. His dream it was a long shot. He worked at his slap shot. A wooden stick gripped in his hand and with the arc of his wind up he developed a blast that it scare anything in its path he left his island home and the way of life he'd known to play some junior hockey in the west and with the kitchen arrangers he was Stranger with two championships, no less. He tied number four, the great Bobby Orr. From the blue line, he could show you how to score. His progress, it was steady. He proved that he was ready when he picked up the Memorial Cup.
The defenseman, he got better. Number two upon his sweater. He won the Norris Trophy there at last. In the year 2002, his career was hardly true. He led Team Canada to the Olympics. And with experience, he played. And the champion remained. Bringing home for Salt Lake City a gold medal. Thank you.